the mayor of the city of Passaic, Hector Laura. I want to express my appreciation to all the organizations, the Red Cross, uh, Catholic Charities, Suchi, which is an organization that provides monetary donations to families who are victims of fires or natural disasters, as well as the Passaic County Board of Social Services, the school district, UPO, and so many others. And of course, our human services from City Hall. Uh, this is a resource fair where everyone is coming together to try to bring resources to the needs of those that were directly impacted. Hi folks, Rosie Taravella here. I'm the proud CEO of the American Red Cross in New Jersey. We're here at Muhammad Ali School 23, the red zone of the school, uh, where we've been sheltering folks since the tragic fire in the city of Passaic on Friday. We're very, very proud to be working with a number of community partners to offer a resource center, giving people an opportunity to, to move into the next steps of their lives after having lost their residence. My name is Bill. I'm actually from Ziji Foundation. Uh, Ziji actually means uh, uh, compassion relief. So uh, we are here to help all the victims from the Passaic uh, fire uh, incidents. We like to give them the positive energy to tell them you are not alone. Our love is here. Uh, and also we give the blanket. Those blanket is also from the Taiwan. The water bottle that we use every single day. But we don't want to waste the, the, the resources. So we recycle everything and create this uh, gray blanket Environmental Black Hip. My name is Ariel Alonso. I'm with Catholic Charities Diocese of Patterson. I'm the Community Emergency Support Director. We are here today to support the victims here in Passaic City from a recent fire. Our agency provides uh, assistance with linkage uh, and helping folks to relocate. Um, there are many families in need of uh, guidance and where to and how to apply for resources. I encourage you to donate to all of these organizations the Red Cross, Catholic Charities, organizations that really stand up to help families when they are in need, vulnerable individuals. Today, we're looking to try to help students, children that have lost so much, families that have lost so much. You know, when you already have very little and you lose so much, it becomes so concerning. Um, you can be dealing with anxiety and worry for the future, and it's such a beautiful thing that so many organizations have come together to make the difference. So thank you to all of the organizations right here in Paseca City Hall has directed this particular uh, emergency center and this resource center working with the Red Cross and so many others to make sure that none of these families are left without the help that they need short term and long term. Now the big challenge, which I'm so grateful to the Red Cross and others, will be to, uh, as well as uh, Catholic Charities specifically for those that may not have documentation, is to get them permanent placing in apartment security and everything they need to move forward with their lives. I also want to thank the State County Sheriff, Richard Burnick, who will be assisting with IDs, which becomes so vitally important in order to access uh, this information and resource that is available from so many different agencies. And I want to thank everyone that has been donating. Thank you to all that showed up to our event over the weekend on Saturday, closing our Hispanic Heritage Month and taking a portion of everything there to help out these families. Together, we will be able to meet the needs of those that have uh, been dealing with this devastating fire. And as always, thank you to all the brave men and women, firefighters from Pasig and Bergen County, uh, police, paramedics, everyone who worked so hard. We had 67 individuals that were displaced, but by the grace of God and the hard work of these amazing emergency responders, we have 67 individuals that are still alive today, including pets. So thank you, God bless.